Hi, this is John Kanalopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece, the Laser Vision Laboratory Surgery Unit and uh, the uh, NYU Medical School in New York City, New York. Really a pleasure to share with you this quite interesting case uh, from today. This is a super dense black cataract. You can see it here preoperatively. The patient has bare light perception. This lens on um, interferometry has thickness of almost six millimeters. You can see it's the left eye here. Almost no view with the optos. The right eye had surgery, had recovered to 2040. On B scan, everything looks good. You can see we're on the optic nerve. There's no abnormality here to suggest that there's uh, any problem. Of course, we opted to go with the old extra capsule cataract surgery technique. But the reason I'm showing you this is that not everything old necessarily has to be bad. Wet field cautery here, bipolar cautery. And here, what I've learned from my teachers at Cornell, New York, and Harvard, and Boston, is shelved incision using my uh, glaucoma surgery skills uh, and a crescent blade to create a shelf here, almost the same way we would create a uh, tuberculectomy flap, and try and um, enlarge the opposition of the tissue between the uh, sclera and the limbus. This will help a lot in having a tight wound create much less astigmatism than the old-fashioned extra capsule of cataract surgeries, and of course, less uh, sutures. So this is probably the most important part of the procedure. I'm using my keratin to create a small, tiny incision to insert air, and then blue dye to stain the um, anterior capsule. Make it a little bit stiffer too, because one of the key elements here will be to create a very large um, circular linear continuous capsule rexis. We have to go manual here. We're outside the scope of uh, femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery. Very careful. We have a nice large pupil. Patient is uh, uh, under paid mobile anesthesia. Although he was in the mood of a little bit of dancing during the day, uh, I have to share that with you. And again, I'm showing this almost real time to underline, especially for beginning surgeons, on how important this part of the procedure is we're going to carefully uh, create hydro dissection of this lens. And we talked about this lens being humongous. Six millimeter in diameter. Remember, a young lens is about three and a half. We consider it becoming a cataract over two and a half millimeter in diameter, in uh, thickness rather, in its center. We all know the actual christening lens diameter is about 12 millimeters. So I have mobility of the lens. The key element here, second most important thing, is I'm using epinephrine. Why am I using epinephrine? Because I have to deliver this very large lens that it may be larger than the pupillary opening that I had. So I'm using my keratin here to complete my shelved incision. See how carefully I'm going here to have an incision that has a lip uh, of at least two and a half, three millimeters. And this is pivotal. You can see that my incision is already uh, almost three clock hours and it's not leaking. Several uh, things in play here, obviously, we don't want to decompress the eye uh, abruptly and um, run into the danger of a suprachoroidal hemorrhage. Second, as I mentioned before, we will have a better water, water too tight uh, wound with less sutures. And third, minimal induced astigmatism. We know from the old times that um, an extracapsular cataract surgery usually induces uh, two and a half doctors to three against the incision. So this will be against the real astigmatism. I'm in with my loop. You can see how helpful enlarging the pupil of the epi was. And here we're delivering a almost 12-month-old baby. So this lens is humongous. We're going to see some close-ups later. later. Uh, key thing here to go in and place these um, a pretty wide 10 on nylon sutures. Uh, go uh, very carefully as if we're performing a penetrating keratoplasty. It's very important to reoppose exactly cornea sclera and sclera without entering obviously anterior chamber radial sutures to recreate the pre-op anatomy very important here and you'll see in a little bit why surprisingly we can see that the red reflex is, is fantastic usually it, it being more pale and whitish would um, depict serious retinal damage um, and this is a tough suture you have to suture almost uh, on the side, the previous one and this one. And once I reach the level that I can't 
we duplicate a small incision and catheter procedure environment, I'll go in with my irrigation respiration, remove the residual cortex. Surprisingly, that a lens of this hardness still has some cortex left behind. Um, and I'm removing the cortex here. Obviously, this is a more unstable chamber than it would have been in a clear cornea incision. So I'm going to complete the, my sutures and go in by manual. Very careful to remove um, all the cortex. There's no reason why this procedure should not heal like a clear cornea cataract procedure. And it did so. Even uh, this last tuft of cortex at the um, 1 o'clock incision is removed. We're filling in the capsule bag that's intact with the methocellulose. And of course, we're in Greece. Um, what else can we expect as a surprise on this patient? He has mild keratoconus, as evident on his uh, pendicam maps. You can see the inferior temporal uh, significant thinning. So we have talked a lot about using the 4.5 millimeter total corneal power here instead of the interferometry anterior corneal power. So my lens comes out with the uh, uh, Hoffer Q with the holiday formula as being a plus 17. And we're using the toric calculator. Yes, we're using toric calculator here. That suggests a uh, T5 lens in against the rule position, and we want that because we want this case to end up with the rule. So, yes, we will complete this uh, uh, black cataract remove via extra cap. I'm rotating, rotating my favorite uh, IQ Torc uh, Microsoft IOL. I will complete uh, suturing my uh, wound and uh, my beginning steps in. Uh, the State University of New York, uh, I remember having to place 11 sutures. We're going to get away here with uh, seven uh, interrupted sutures placed with the way that I described, carefully removing the uh, residual methocellulose. I will use two nylon sutures to reoppose the conjunctiva and attain uh, good uh, reversal of the conjunctiva pyridomy we performed. We can see how quiet the eye is and how well everything has gone. We will uh, complete the procedure with uh, uh, acetylcholine to attain meiosis and have um, a result that the next day, uh, and uh, this is not exaggerating, will be 2020 uncorrected. This is the lens in a vial, uh, just remarkable till this day, almost 30 years since my first cataract surgery at NASA on the Medical Center. Hope you found this interesting. John Kenopoulos signing out. Thanks so much for your attention.